Hello YouTube. So, <clears throat> sorry for my voice. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've filmed a video, which it has because I've been sick for the past like week or so. Yay, sinus infections. But I'm back and I'm currently sporting my new haircut, as you can see. I love it. You can tell me I look pretty in the comments below. I'm just kidding. If you want to, I mean, that's fine, but I'm not telling you to. But anyway, I thought that a good video to kind of get me back in the swing of things, since I'm not entirely 100% yet, is to do kind of like a how I pack my bag video. I know that Jerusha Couture does a lot of these on her channel. I absolutely love them. So I thought that I would do my little spin on it. So I am currently carrying this bad boy, which looks very bad right now. Let me close it. But this was what I did my first What's in My Purse video on. My Mulberry Oversized Alexa in Plaster Pink, which if you still want me to do a review on it, I will, but I honestly don't feel like doing one right now because I still feel like crap, but we're going to do this anyway. So I have been carrying that for a while, but I was wanting to switch because I feel like that is a bag like the Louis Vuitton Speedy in that you can fit everything in it and... I don't want my back to wear out. So I'm going to switch back to my Fry bag. Now I did figure out the name of this. It is the Cameron Satchel. And it looks like an old, or like a, it's supposed to be styled from a men's briefcase. But Fry is mostly like a boot company. I didn't even know that they made handbags until I saw. I don't even remember where I saw this one, but I fell in love with it because the style and it has this. It's not adjustable, unfortunately, but it's a nice shoulder bag and it doesn't get heavy that easily. So I figured since this one has a lot of pockets and everything that I will show how I pack my purse. So let's get into it. Alright, so I have literally already filmed this video, but when transferring, my computer decided to corrupt my file. Yay! So let's try this again. So unfortunately, I can't show you trans er, transferring my stuff from my Alexa to my fry bag here because I've already done that in the other video that got corrupted, but I can still show you how I pack this. So just a quick overview of the bag. There's one pocket. There's one side here with two slip pockets, a middle zip compartment that goes like the full depth of the bag so it's pretty roomy, and another back compartment with a zipper. Ooh, fascinating. So in the zipper part right now I just have like the fry stuff that you can't even read because the focus on my camera is terrible sorry about that but it was a gift so what can you say you can't complain so in this back pocket I keep my little purse hanger it's one of those like you put on the table and the purse hangs everyone is fascinated by this whenever I use it but I hate using it in school even though the floors are so dirty because it makes me look so pretentious but I keep it just in case with like my Mulberry Alexa, the color on it, I would hate for it to transfer onto it, but obviously this one's not going to show anywhere, so keep that back there. And then I keep two pins because I'm like that. I have, of course, my American flag pin that's unscrewed. That's not good. It says, God bless America, that you totally cannot read on that side. And I also have a golden key honor society pin that I stole from one of the booths that we did. I mean, I'm the president. I should have a pin, shouldn't I? I should. So that is what is in this zipper pocket. Zip that up. So then here on which side? This side right here, hanging out, there's a little key fob. So I'm going to clip my keys to that. And I forgot if this was in my original what's in my purse video or not but I got a new pom-pom that's -pom. purple because purple and blue are my favorite colors so I got a purple one just because so keep that in there 
I have this little Michael Kors wristlet that I've been using for a while just because it fits everything in it that I need and it's compact. <clears throat> so keep that on that side. I want to get a new wallet, so maybe I will. We'll see. I have my sun boring sunglasses case with some sunglasses that I got at Charming Charlie, which you may or may not have seen in one of my vlogs that I did. Absolutely love these. These are the only circle type sunglasses that I could fit that could actually look good on my fat face. And I'm not just saying that. I have a round face, so. I have my infamous pocket constitution that I got. I think this is a Barnes & Noble one, but I loved it because it's leather and it looks fancy with the silver on the sides. But... I'm going to stick this in this front pocket here. I have my own little constitution pocket. And I mean, it fits perfectly and it's in the way so I know when to get it easily in case a constitutional issue arises. Probably only in my life that would happen. But. So then, also back here, I'm going to keep my Mentos gum. This is really good. It's the little circle can. It's like a candy and a gum mixed in one, so it's pretty good. I don't know if I'd rebuy it or not, but oh well. I have my little pill container that is one of the Mario. There we go. One of the Mario mushrooms that a co worker of my mom's gave me a long time ago because I loved green as a favorite color, and so she gave it to me. I totally did not know that this was a Mario thing until I saw it years later. So, whoops, sorry all of you Mario fans, but I've learned, I have learned, so don't hate me. <clears throat> I have my little Louis Vuitton Cosmetique bag. I don't know if that's the official name or not, I'm sorry. But I just remember seeing this Charleston on a trip and I decided to get it as a little souvenir because that was the first time I had ever been in a Louis Vuitton store and I had the money so I got it got made fun of for getting it but oh well we won't talk about that I have my little mirror book air and they call it the mirror book because it has a mirror on the top I don't want to flash you all but it actually looks like a MacBook on the bottom and it has a little Apple logo I think that's super cute got it on eBay for pretty cheap I have my little American flag print case that holds my earbuds just the ones that came with Apple. I wear my American flag ones to the gym just because the Apple ones are better than those. You know, those have American flag on them. But I have my business card holder and my business cards that I made from Vistaprint. So, it's got my channel name and all of my information back here. Woo. Impressive. Not really. And... No, I just dropped it. Great going. But on the front, it has my YouTube channel. Sorry if that's blinding you, but it has my YouTube name, my that I'm on YouTube, my handle for like Twitter and stuff, and my URL, and also the date that I uploaded my first video. So I thought that would be a little memento. So I haven't had a use to put those anywhere yet, but I'll try to find one. I also have my little card case, and yeah, it's okay. I got it from Charming Charlie. It's not the best, just because, as you can see, all of the my cards like to fall out of it. I don't know if this is actually how you're supposed to use it or not, but I have a lot of rewards cards, but I want to get, like, a better case holder for it, but I thought this was cute because I like the pattern. A buffalo check, that's what that is, right? Then I have some Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint Hand Cream. I actually don't like the Twisted Peppermint. Oh, I'm actually going to stick these flat things right here in the zipper compartment. Just so it won't be bulky in the big parts. And I'm going to slip this, I guess... I'm going to put my headphones in one of these slip pockets just for easy access and I probably will put this in the other one 
just again for easy access. And then that way I can move my pill container up here. And it's getting fat. But yeah, I actually don't like the Twisted Peppermint, even though I also have it in the hand sanitizer because I bought this whole set on eBay thinking, oh, I like peppermint scent, so nope. It smells like toothpaste, I think, which it's, isn't a bad thing, but when you want peppermint peppermint, you don't want toothpaste peppermint, if that makes any sense. And finally, last but not least, in the back, because the battery on my camera is dying, there is another pocket right here that zips, which is perfect for my iPhone 6, which I have a new case on it. It's a Galaxy print. And a new background, which is also a Galaxy print. And you can kind of see it. Kind of. Kind of. There we go. So, yeah, I normally stick that back here, but obviously since I'm home, I'm using it. So yeah, that is all that will fit and that I need in this fry bag. The one complaint that I do have about this bag, which I can talk more in in a review, is the buckles on this. Kind of go around the bag, but yeah. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I pack this bag. Really, you can use it with any bag that has like three slots, I guess. I we'll do more of these in the future with different bags because I have different bags with different styles of pockets and slots and everything so thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys all that's left is a window to my soul come and get it with me